All right, so next up, another Grand Sport getting new lenses, halos, halos in the fogs, uh, the lights in the vents, underglow, and then the lights under the floor on the inside. So here we go. Back in with the vet, our uh, bumper is loose. So I just gotta pop this middle section off. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. But this headlight, the gasket was like glued back on. So it's glued between the gasket and the headlight. And it's also glued between the gasket and the bumper. So I'm um, having a little time trying to get this loose. So the bumper won't drop because it's all glued together. So I gotta try to break this glue off. Uh, don't have to worry about saving the gasket don't have to worry about saving the lens because i got replacements for all of this but this is gonna make it uh a little bit tough and hopefully this doesn't mess with the paint too much which most likely it will but hopefully it doesn't do it too bad so try to fight with this a little longer to get this to break loose and then i can pop this hood lift this part back up pull the bumper off and actually get started all right, so bumper is off. Uh, as you can see, it did leave a bunch of glue and uh, yeah, a lot of residue on here. So I'm gonna try to knock some of this loose before I put it all back together. But there's a whole lot of glue on all of this. So yeah, bad setup, but yeah, some thick stuff. But we got new gaskets and uh, yeah, no glue necessary. So here we go back here light it out and i gotta be real careful on this job because it's already had a lot of work done so uh all of this right here can you see that yeah so all of that's not supposed to be there uh i don't like whatever this ceiling is but you can tell the lens has been replaced so this is not the factory lens and where am i let me flip this over so yeah, you can tell it's been replaced, but the problem is all of this right here looks like this is wide open, like it's a hole right here. So yeah, uh feels like it's a big gap. Uh so yeah, gotta be careful with that. I have to figure something out to cover all this up just to make sure it doesn't leak because like I said, I just got it dropped off yesterday, so I don't really know the history of if this light leaks or not. So whatever they fix beforehand, I got to make sure I double over it to make sure there's no flaws in that. Because if it leaks after today, it's going to look like it's my fault, even if this was already a hole. So just more stuff to uh, check up on. And this looks like it might have been cracked all through here, too. So. Not exactly sure, but it looks like uh, glue covering the crack. So, yeah, just got to be real careful. Uh, and you can end up with something like this on any headlight project, really. So, you know, if you find yourself working on the car, just pay attention to everything that's on it before you get started. Uh, that way you can know what you need to look out for. Make sure you don't have any issues and make sure you don't get blamed for anything. So go ahead and get all this gasket stuff off of here i got new gaskets in the house so these don't really matter but get all of this stuff off and then i can figure out what i need to do to break this seal loose because this is some serious glue and i don't think heat is gonna help any of this so yeah about to go on a little adventure all right uh big hole in the bottom of this thing so once i get all of this off uh like the lens and all i'm gonna figure out a way to patch this up and probably use some of that black silicone to kind of glue it from the inside let it dry that way and then probably glue it again from the outside let it dry so that should give it a a solid base but yeah this thing is uh all ate up definitely a hole but yeah, look at all this ceiling. Uh, I am not a fan of this stuff. So like it's hard to like 
like plastic or something but some of it you can kind of pry up which is super hard to do with one hand on the phone but let me try this section no look but anyway the stuff is hard like so and the other headlight has it too so it's easy to pop the lens off but the hard part is getting all of this stuff out of the way so once i put new ceiling on here i'm starting fresh but I'm going to go ahead and heat it up and hopefully some of this rubber that's left in here, when I pull that up, it'll pull this with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this heat gun going and try to get this stuff clean. Then I'll take the other one out. I got the hole pretty much covered up with tape. So what I'm going to do is fill it in with this black RTV. Let that dry and then peel the tape off and then black rtv the opposite side too so that should pretty much make it solid uh i wish i had like some abs plastic i can melt and go on here like i watched a video a while back about it but i hadn't tried it yet so can't do it but uh that might be something i test out later on this summer just in case i run into something like this again but I think it would be a little stronger than using this, but this will work for now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, spread this stuff out and let it dry while I get these lenses off and get the halo set behind there. So, yeah. Oh, and this headlight is good. There's no cracks, no nothing. So we're good to go on that one. Back in, I left the tape on and I put the uh, RTV on top of it too. So this is the top side with the tape. This is the bottom side, so everything is covered, uh, pretty smooth. It's not hard like plastic, but it's solid. So, one, like I said, this side is dry. So once this side dries, then it'll be two thick, solid layers along with the tape in between. So that should keep it pretty sturdy. Shouldn't be able to, you know, tear apart or nothing because it won't be touched by anything. So this will hold and now that i'm done i probably could have just did this still use the tape but i probably could have used some uh the bondo hair the bondo with the fiberglass strands in it probably would have worked way better been stronger and dried a little quicker but you know something to learn and use for another day hopefully i don't need it but if i do probably just do the uh bondo hair but yeah Let's put the rest of this together. This one is sealed. I got to go back over it. I always do double seals on these. So once this dries, I'll come back over. But you can see it looks way different than uh, the first sealant that was on there. So, a little cleaner. Everything is black. Kind of smooth down. Like I said, there's going to be another layer over this that'll be like a full sealant. Like it kind of got a little gaps right there. So once it dries, I'll fill all this in, smooth it out, and it'll be good to go. Then I can put those back in. Fogs are already done. I'll give you an idea of what the seal looks like on these. So, so. This is sealed, dried, sealed again. So I can go ahead and put these back in the bumper. And uh, what is next? So yeah, once that's done, that's dry, put all that back in. Then I start with the underglow and then the fender lights, some blue lights in here right now. Uh, it's hard to really see, but there we go. So, yeah, this blue strip right here. So, I'm going to take that out, put the flow series strip in there. I'm going to put it more towards the front like I, like I did in the other one. So, be a nice even glow. But, yeah, so we're making way and, yeah, stick around. 
a quick overview. Uh, new lands, new halos in here. Sealed up, so it's none of that uh that thick yellow ceiling or whatever. Fresh new gaskets. Uh, new LED park bulb over there, so about to slap this stuff in, put this bumper back together. Fog lights already in, halos already in. So about to put it all together. Finished product, fresh new lenses, fresh new halos, uh, new fogs, new halos in there. Added the splitter rods on the splitter, which was already on here. But I just added the rods. Uh, it's daytime, so you can't see the lights in here. But uh, it's a light. It's going to light up this whole Grand Sport vent. Underglows on here, which you can't really see right now because it's broad daylight. But the vet is done, so I'm about to back this out and uh, get it ready for pickup.